What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Classroom of the Elite. We are finally doing it on Season 2. We are starting to get caught up. I am very, very, very excited. A lot of you guys have been nothing but giving me good support, good words, good comments, good hype around this season, around these episodes, around this show, and I am loving you guys for it. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support. Some of you guys are aware. Some of you guys aren't. I do need to let you know with the first and last episode of every season of every show that we do on the channel, uh, the full length version which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description, come back here for the review once you're done with that, and consider checking out that Patreon if you want all the shows, all the movies, everything in the full length version. Awesome benefits over there. When it comes to season two, god dang, did season one end crazy. We now have confirmation from Ayano Koji that winning in this world is everything. Doesn't matter who needs to be sacrificed, who needs to be used. I have a completely different mindset for him going into this season, which is crazy to think about. With that being said, if you are excited, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Much, much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into this. We are doing episodes one and two of season two, catching fully up. Um, the first one is called Remember to Keep a Clear Head in Difficult Times. I firmly agree with that. Let's do this. Ooh, I wonder what Manabu's gonna think of the special test, and he already knows. That's what I'm curious about. Ooh, and he's thinking about Ayana Koji specifically. Heck yeah. Back on our cruise. There goes my waifu, Sakura. Koenji. The maniac. Yeah, let's not get on Kay's bad side. That's your girlfriend, you know. And not that she was the epicenter of the issue, but she was the epicenter of the whole panty thing last season, so she's a big character now. Didn't we just have a special test? Literally the whole island thing. So I wonder if every student was given different times or different rooms. One more person is due to arrive. Is this K? Yusuke's girlfriend? Special. Yeah, a little bit. Special tests always intrigue me with this show. Eight discrete groups, and you'll be... Oh, I like this. I see. So we're intermingling some of the classes to distinguish. Yeah, right? It's an interesting way to look at it, the dichotomy of how we're going to be able to work as, a, work as a cohesive unit, but still be separate in our own agendas throughout, you know? Okay. So one's gonna be VIP. Two discussions a day. Ah, oh, it's like Among Us. I say Among Us, but there's 150 games where it's like that, you know? Uh-huh. If at least one person, aside from the VIP and their classmates, gets the VIP. Fails, okay. Oh. Oh, there's a multitude of games like this on YouTube now where it's like six people decide, is one person going to get all the money or are they going to split it even? It's like, I love mental, not manipulation, but mental studies in games like this because you never really know people's motivations or what they're going to do and I love how we referenced or we started this off by Ayano Koji saying that all of our acts as humans are always goal oriented. This is such an interesting concept and I'm so intrigued. And which is what? Oh, 
結果4優待者以外の者が死刑終了を待たずに学校側にメールを送り不正解だった場合した生徒の所属クラスは50万ポイントを持ち込みますが、そのインドビジュアルは50万ポイントを持ち込みます。OK。そう、間違いなく、ないとあなたは死刑を受けているのだけど、私はそれを知っているのだけど、私はそれを知っているのだけど、私はそれを知っているのだけど、私はそれを知っているのだけど、私はそれを知っているのだけど、私はそれを知っているのだけど、私はそれを知っているのだけど、私はそれを知っているのだけど、私はそれを知っているのだけど、Oh no, explain now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love how we're getting different strategies said by different people in different classes, like what they might do, you know? This man is a literal genius. Oh, yeah, that sounds tedious and annoying as, as hell, but you're probably the only one I can think of that can do that <laughs> while keeping a monotone expression on your face. This person right here, speak of the devil. Horikita <laughs> obviously knows it was Yano Koji, but I love how she's going along with it, you know? <laughs> Gotta play in. He's right, which is crazy, because she is very earnest, you know. It's so funny, little does he know that he's right there, you know. He has no idea. He knows the limits of them, and they're no threat. That's crazy to say. Woman of the hour. Special test, the first discussion. So we have R4 from our private meeting. Yep, these three in K. Plus we have some class 1As, class 1B that I don't recognize. Was that Ichinose? We have Ibuki in here. Yeah, so you're trying to figure out who's going to be the VIP. I'm very intrigued. Okay. I'm in on this, baby. I see. Class A is abstaining. And Ibuki is also being uncooperative. If they already have a good lead, then why give them a chance to increase, you know, to... Valid. Yeah, what if. Because there's eight teams for eight planets, right? Yes, what if seven of them are Class Ds, you know? The VIPs would win that, and then Class D would skyrocket. It's a valid thing to assume. You may, may be right, but you may be wrong. That was my first point. They, since they already have a lead, they're losing nothing by doing nothing and keeping their lead, you know? Yeah. That is a valid point. Oh, so less points would be distributed to the higher upper ones already. I didn't even add those numbers up together in my head. That's a good point, Ichinose. Weighing your two options, I'm I'm actually on Team Ichinose right now. A fine counter argument to say the least, you know. 
Damn, every side is making valid points, but that's the thing about this one. You know, you all have your own agenda. Oh. Rika? I mean, shouts out to her friends for standing up for her, you know, going to confront Kay. Ooh. She is getting rather defensive, you know. They're being quite aggressive, but it's like no one's trying to de-escalate this right now. Might have to write down Machida's name, Class A. I mean, she needs to be appreciative, obviously grateful. He helped her, but is she not dating Yusuke? I assume from the blonde hair that it's K. She is rather upset about something going on. Does it pertain to the girls? Does it pertain to something deeper? Curious. Wait, that was the end of the episode already? That shit felt like it was five minutes. All right, on to episode two of season two. This one says there are two main human sins from which all others derive, impatience and indolence. Hmm, curious, curious. Okay, class D's lounge room. We got chiseled ass Koenji, straight ass cheeks. Oh, really? Let's not say it super loud. We don't want anyone to be a traitor. Not what I was expecting. Okay. The Jupiter's group test has concluded. The Jupiter group is no longer required to participate. They will now have free time. At the very least, we can call him decisive, I guess. Hey. Yeah, I'm saying, that's kind of left field, but we know because he's observing a lot of things with her. That I agree with. She's excessively on her phone. She's super defensive. She's crying in the shower. There's definitely something deeper. A lot of you guys told me during season one, the episode seven, when it's Horikita doing that speech on the pool. Um, you guys told me that was Karuzawa K, who actually did that in the, in the light novel. So I'm genuinely curious what's going to happen. He's not wrong. I always think of the Master of Spiders or the Master of Whispers from uh, Game of Thrones. How good they are at getting information, you know. Normally I would believe you, but you said that last test as well. And look what happened. But if Yano Koji says it, then we're like, I'm a little nervous. That is true. Even has Albert getting him a drink? Jesus Christ. He loves that sparkling water at San Pellegrino. Now, if Class B made this alliance, maybe, but not C at all. Heck no. Madana. See, he doesn't even acknowledge Ayano Koji at all. But obviously, he thinks Horikita is behind everything. So it makes sense. It's just so funny. She has some deep seated issues for sure. She doesn't need friends, social life. She's a parasite, can't do anything on her own. Like, I'd prefer you do get mistaken for a couple. Ooh. Late night talks with Kushida never end up going well, but I'm very curious. A 
Uh-huh. Lonely. She has mentioned how lonely she has felt before, day in and day out. And I understand that. Don't get me wrong. I don't want you feeling like that, but I just... I don't know, you know? Like, if you were a normal girl, like an actually decent person, I would be beyond happy. I'd be like, yes, go Kushida, get your man. All that shit, but I, I can't trust her ever. Now, we know Class B's teacher has a little issue with a little, little bit of alcohol. She gets a little tipsy. Really? So normally the representatives would all be in the same one, but Ichinose is a representative B and she's in ours. It is interesting she's talking about this. I don't want to miss anything. That's the only reason I'm pausing it. Because during episode 8, her and Ichinose were getting massages, um, the teacher and Ichinose, and they brought up who should we be watching out for. And she said, the teacher said, Ayano Koji. So her asking Shabashira, like, why are you so interested? How did he, you know, like, she's not just a ditz, you know, she's observant as well. Shabashira knows, you know, might be a little deeper than that, too. Goddamn. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, it stemmed from that, let's deal with that, you know? Didn't she apologize or anything? I'm curious about that. Is it all a facade? Is it, like, what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, you would have to swallow a little bit of pride. It would be a little humbling, but that would square everything. That would be everything would be settled. I wonder what a Yano Koji thinks of this. Give me your inner monologue, please, my friend. Really. Really, I see. That's what she considers himself. Herself. A parasite. That's also the way she said it. At the end of the day, I just need to worry about myself and protect myself. Really? That is... After, like, watching a silent voice and a couple other things, you know, that really dive deep into bullying and stuff like that, it's, you know, it could be extremely traumatizing. So she's gone from Yusuke to protect her, now Machida in 1A. Curious. Okay, not gonna have any discussion. It's free time, damn near. Might as well play some cards. I get it. Status deadlocks. You got the girls just dead eyeing her. Okay. So, four discussions have passed. Still no information gathered or shared. If I wasn't in an anime, I'd be like, they're about to jump her. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's the body language they're giving off. Oh, like a cargo hold. Where the f are we? I mean, she did play super defensive, you know? Like, she was like, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. I would have, you know, sometimes just... Obviously, I don't think either girl's in the in the right here, but I don't know. I just don't like this. That is true. Oh, this is some real deal Holyfield bullying. If this was a different anime, some other girls would come in and start... I 
I swear, these episodes go by in like five minutes, man. Can I not get some more content? I have to wait a whole week, seven days. So talk about some good episodes. Way to build me into this new season. Way to get us going into another test. I throw, I love, hmm. I love mental tests. Like obviously the, the island test was half mental, half physical, because you needed to choose the right options and decide the right decisions. But then you also had to physically execute those. But this one's a lot more mental and I like both. But I love just how in depth psychologically we can get. Not only are we going in depth with the whole among us, who has the benefit, what kind of strategy should we do to uh, for our agendas type scenario, which I love those. Okay, this will be the best. No, but you have to worry about this, but no, but this, that, and the other. But that's but then we're also diving into the individual psyche of certain characters. Like obviously K is being a becoming a big character this season, and she is dealing with a lot. I'm very curious on what she means by she's a parasite she always requires someone to protect her like obviously she went from yusuke to um, machida because yusuke was failing to do the thing she wanted to do him to do but it's like where is she and uh, you know, she has had extensive bullying her whole life so it's just like the bullying stopped when her popularity skyrocketed because of yusuke so is it she just needs kind of like a figurehead to just maintain herself around wholesomeness and goodness just to stay clear away from that whole bullying side um, i just need to know the details i'm sure we'll get them soon i am very curious i'm liking her character so far but i just i need to know a little bit more um ayano koji obviously going super in depth ryuen going super in depth i haven't seen in as much of class a like katsuragi and sakayanagi as i'd like to and i want to see them super bad I'm just very curious how the points are going to be distributed at the end of this. I know there's going to be some crazy plan Ayano Koji has. I'm waiting for it. I'm here. And then we have Chabashira and Chie as well. Class B's teacher. Going to get into it a little bit as well. I'm very excited. Very, very excited. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon, early access, full length to all the other shows. Much appreciated, y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.